Williams. I am an actor and I do a lot of other things as well related to that. I don't have any typical days or a typical nine to five. In this past week, I uh, worked at Pacific Theater. I had an audition, a big audition for a theater in town. I had to learn a German accent. I also work for the RCMP training police officers, doing simulations, pretending to be a car thief so that and police officers were arresting me. My husband and I were both actors and we, our life motto is at least you're never bored because that helps us get through the very many, many different things that we have going on. My name's Paul Stapleton and I work in construction management. If I knew when I was, you know, if I could go back in time and tell my 18-year-old self that I was going to be 35 and in construction, I'd probably find my 18-year-old self banging his head against the wall, crying. I was part of the problem because I kind of felt like, you know, the world was my oyster and I could do anything, so why the hell would you choose construction? <laughs> so I didn't exactly, like, pursue this job, but um, ironically, I never knew that I'd be this excited and this passionate about the role that I'm in. So for now, I, I'm driving a, a great amount of meaning out of it. I always feel super fortunate when I'm getting to actually act and be in rehearsal. If I'm getting paid to be in rehearsal, I just know it's a gift. And so to me, like that is God in my life because it's amazing. So many people walk through this life and don't get to live their dream or they have a dream, or you, you always hear those stories of like, oh, like, I did theater in high school and I, I would have liked to have done it, but you know, I decided to become a dentist or whatever. I'm sure dentists are passionate about what they do, but. <laughs> so the fact that I get, some days I actually get to do what I love, to me, that's encountering God. Like that's, a, that's just a gift, I know, straight, straight from God. I feel like I'm joining God in the renewal of all things by being a part of influencing a company to be the best it can be. And I think that that's a really meaningful thing on a base level of doing construction. Construction's everywhere. And if I can be a part of influencing my company to become better and better and to sort of be a, an example of what good business is and what good construction is, in our case, it's banks and schools and hospitals, whatever it is, that's, that's God's work as far as I'm concerned. My vocation is I want to be a part of my community. I want to be involved with people, but my career is construction and my vocation influences my career. I knew the life of an actor is quite hard and challenging and not typical. And so I, I debated whether or not to go into teaching. I was really shy and I want to, and I'm like type A personality, firstborn child, like want to do things right. So I kind of almost rejected it and went into teaching because that would be the right thing to do. And I'm so glad looking back on it that I like took a step towards this kind of scarier, scarier path. And I still don't know what's gonna happen. And so it makes me emotional because I'm kind of in the middle of like living out that scary dream and it might not work out. So, so far so good. <laughs> Thank you.